To access the apps that are available on your tablet, go to the upper right hand corner of your screen and tap the symbol with the six squares. This will show you all of the apps that have been downloaded to your tablet. You might have multiple screens, so if you slide to the right, you'll see the additional apps available. You can see I have three screens worth of apps. To access an app, simply tap it. If you would like to locate a free app or purchase an app from the App Store, in the upper right hand corner of your screen, once you're in the app screen, you'll see a shop option. If you tap that, you can go in and search for apps through the Google Play Store. Um, there's an option for apps, music, magazine, books, movies, things like that. Or you have a search icon that looks like a magnifying glass. If you tap that and say you're looking for the Firefox application that's a web browser, you can type in a keyword and it will bring those options up here. You can tap that and it will go search the Google Play Store and bring back that application. You'll get a description of the app here and I like to look at the reviews on that application to see if it's worth downloading the app or not. And I can go back to the App Store by tapping in the upper left hand corner and searching. Say I want a weather app. You can type in the keyword weather and hit the enter. And you can see whether it's a free app or an app that will cost a certain amount. Let's try this Weather Channel app. I'm going to tap that. And again, you can see the description, some screenshots. You can look at the um, average reviews, how many stars it was given. If I decide how many have been downloaded, that's another good indicator as to whether this app is useful or not. And there's been 250,000 um, people that have downloaded this app. So I'm going to go ahead and install this by tapping the install. It will always bring up a screen that you have to accept and download. Tap that. And you can just see the downloading bar going across. While you're downloading an app, you are able to go and do other things on your tablet and it won't interfere with the download. Now if I go back to my home screen, you can see that it's placed an icon on my main screen for that app and I can tap that to access the app. Sometimes you'll have an agreement that you have to agree to before you access it initially. And for this particular app, it wants my zip code. And then I have access to that application. Now I'm going to go back home and say that I didn't want this app on my home screen listed here, but I wanted it on another screen. I can push and hold my finger on the app and I could drag it to my left screen and place it where I want it to go on the screen and release it. If I don't want this um, Weather Channel app icon to appear at all on my, any of my main screens, I can push and hold. And then at the top, in the center, you'll see a Remove option. If I drag it up to Remove, it does not uninstall the app. It just removes this icon from my screen. So you can see I get a red color, and when I release my finger, that icon is removed. The application is still on my tablet and I can access all of my apps, remember, by going to the upper right hand corner app icon and tapping those squares. And they're listed here in rows in alphabetical order. So if I wanted that weather channel app, I can just slide right and I'm going to slide right again and you'll see it's listed right here alphabetically and I can access it later through the app screen if I remove it from one of my home screens.